What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys what will be the final episode of my budget series here on Madden 25 Ultimate Team, at least for now. It's possible that down the road I might go ahead and revamp some of this stuff as new cards come out, as certain cards start to drop in price and rise in price and things like that. But as of right now, it looks like this is probably going to be the final episode. And I know I said that with the last video, which was the quarterbacks, but some people asked me to go ahead and put together some special teams cards. So that's what I'm doing today. Today we're going to be talking about punters, kickers, and kick returners slash punt returners. And we're going to put together a three-player special teams unit that can match just about any special teams unit in this game. And we're going to do it for 5,000 coins. So let's get started. And we're going to start off actually with the punter position. And the two cards that we're going to be comparing are the 91 overall Tom Morstead bronze card and the 99 overall Shane Leckler elite punter card. Now, just like we've done throughout the whole series, I want you guys to keep in mind that I'm not necessarily saying that the budget cards that we put in this series are better than the cards that are compared on the right. What I'm saying is that the price of them makes them very worthwhile to add to your team. As you can see here, the Thomas Morstead card is actually only 1,000 coins, whereas the Shane Leckler card you're going to find for more around 20,000 coins. But the comparison between the two of them, there really isn't a whole lot of difference between them. Uh, the kick power is two in favor of Shane Leckler, and that's really the most important stat. And then as far as kick accuracy goes, he is four better in that as well. But again, the Tom Morstead, very, very good at 97 kick power and 93 kick accuracy. There just aren't many punters that are going to come anywhere near that. So for a thousand coins, definitely take advantage of that because he's going to be able to punt the ball almost as far as any player in this whole game. And while I know some of you SOBs don't ever punt, for those of you who do, this is a card that you should definitely add to your team and save some coins. Don't buy the Shane Leckler for 20,000. You're not going to beat somebody by out punting them in this game. So save the coins, get the Tom Morstead. You're going to be more than happy with it. Now moving on to the kicker position, and the cards that we're going to be comparing today are actually two Matt Prater cards. We've got the 80 overall bronze Matt Prater card and the 97 overall fantasy Matt Prater card. Now at first glance, obviously the 97 overall Matt Prater card, definitely the best kicker in this game. He's got 99 kick power and 95 kick accuracy. That's awesome, and obviously you're going to pay for that. This card goes for around 45,000 coins on average. So for those of us who don't want to spend 45,000 coins on a freaking kicker, I would highly recommend that you take a look at this 80 overall bronze kicker card. And this is the one that I actually use on my team. And this one has 97 kick power and it only has 84 kick accuracy. And I know that concerns some people. But the truth is that if you're kicking a field goal, really the most important thing is that you make it far enough. So that's why the 97 kick power is so important. Now the 84 kick accuracy, it, it isn't very good, but there are people that say that the kick accuracy doesn't even really matter and that the only thing that really matters is how accurate you are when you're doing your motion with your stick. So, you know, that's something to think about as well. But even if it does matter, 84 kick accuracy is still going to be good enough. I haven't had a single kick that went somewhere that I thought it wasn't going to go. In fact, I think I've made every single kick that I've ever attempted with this Matt Prater card. Now, granted, I'm not out there trying to kick 70 yard field goals, but any anything around 55 or below, you're going to make it every time if you get good enough power. So that being said, I highly recommend this Matt Prater card. Like I said, I use it on my own team. My team's not really a budget squad. So, I mean, if it's good enough to have on my team, I would say it's definitely good enough to have on a budget squad. Now, last but not least, I wanna make sure that we take a look at the kick returner and punt returner position. And the two cards that we're gonna be comparing here are the 97 overall Tavon Austin Elite card, and that's his combine card. And we're gonna be comparing it to Trendon Holiday's 80 overall combine card. Now, 
Trend in Holidays card, I don't believe is still actually available to be pulled in packs. So you do have to purchase it off the auction block, but it's going for only about 1,500 to 2,000 coins at the very most. And you're gonna see here with the attributes that we compare, it's actually very comparable to this Tavon Austin that's going for more around 70,000 coins. Now, before I go any further, I want to make sure that I point out that, yes, I am comparing the Tavon Austin card that does give plus two speed to your entire team when he's on the field. So, you know, obviously that makes a big difference as to why he costs so much coins. But even the other card goes for a significant amount, the one that doesn't give you plus two speed, but gives you, I, I don't remember what it is, plus two juke move or something stupid like that. Anyway, though, uh, the Tavon Austin card is better than the Trend and Holiday card, as you can see here with the attributes. But what we wanna do is find out if this Trend and Holiday card is good enough to be a replacement for the Tavon Austin if you don't have enough coins to afford that card. And in my opinion, it is. And the reason I say that is because it has 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 75 carrying, and 96 elusiveness. So in all the attributes that are hugely important for kick returning and punt returning, Trinan Holiday's 80 overall combine card is damn good. It really is. It's a really good kick returner. The 75 carrying is a little low, and we typically want that to be a little bit higher. But cards like the Devin Hester uh, bronze card that a lot of people used as their kick returner, that card's got like 63 carrying or something like that. So Tavon Austin and Trinidad Holiday are significantly better in that category. Um, like I said, the Tavon Austin is definitely a great card. If you can afford this one, put it on your team. But for Trinidad Holiday being only 1,500 coins, he's going to be more than good enough for your average budget squad. And I think you're going to be pretty satisfied with him. If you know how to do juke moves and things like that, Trinidad Holiday is very good. And he is definitely going to be somebody that can kick return and punt return for touchdowns for your team. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't seen the other videos from the budget series that we've been putting together, make sure you take a look in the description below because those links will be there. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.